was. It was baseball, my wife. What did your wife say? Yeah, and everything else followed that. Okay. And that's the way it was for a long, long time. A long time. And, and when I was coaching in, uh, in high school, my, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to coach in college or the pro, or the pros, and professional baseball. And it wasn't happening. I would send out my resume, you know, very quite often, and I, I thought, I've got everything this guy's looking for, you know, I'm going to get this position. Well, it never happened. And, and a few years went by with that, and of course, when it didn't happen, I became very disgruntled. Okay, I was disgruntled. I was upset. Upset. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes. You see. And so when those things didn't happen, I, I was I became upset. I was angry, and uh, you know I, I kind of I, I brought that home, okay, which was not good. Okay, my wife felt the brunt of that. Okay, and uh, so it was not good. And at that time, I had just become. I had just become a, a Christian, a follower of Christ, okay? Um, that was quite late in, in, in my life, well not quite late, but I was in my 30s when, when, that, uh, when that happened. And, uh, and I'll never forget what she said to me. She said, why don't you just accept where God has placed you and accept it and work from there. And I said, well, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I want what I want, right? <laughs> and it took me a while to understand what, you know, what she was saying. That God had put me here for a reason. Okay? I'm there for a reason. We are all here, you're all in America for a reason, okay? You are all here today for a reason. Don't know, okay? But you're all here for a reason. And I was there for a reason. And when I realized that, when I came to know that's where God had me and that's where He wanted me, Okay, then I began to be more content, okay? I was content with where I was, and when I became content with where I was, <coughs> marvelous things began to happen. I mean, it was unbelievable the things that were happening. All of a sudden, baseball, we were very successful in, in winning a lot of games, okay? <laughs> but it was amazing when I realized why I was there, we started winning more. <laughs> we, just, we just took off like you wouldn't believe, okay? And what else was absolutely more important than any wins or losses or championships or whatever, my players' lives were being changed. My players' lives were being, were being changed. Okay, and they were changing with me. Because we were kind of growing now together, understanding what our purpose in life really is. Okay? And then God became very, very important in my life. Okay? 
now all of a sudden it wasn't baseball, wife, whatever, okay? It became God, my wife, uh -oh. family, mm -hmm. and baseball, <coughs> everything else. Kind of got in a perspective, the proper perspective, okay? And I think that's important as we go on with our life, is that we have our life in perspective. What's important? What's the most important thing in your life? Okay? The most important thing in my life for years was sports. But that can all be taken away, boom, in a blink of an eye. Okay? In a blink of an eye. It could be gone. And it doesn't last. It doesn't last. Right? The championship that we won, that was last year. It's over. Now what? Right? Now what? So where, where am I going to put my investment? Yes, I'm going to work hard for every championship I can. No question. And I think God wants us to do that. He wants us to be the best that we can be at what we do. Okay? So yeah, I'm going to work hard. But I'm going to forget somewhere down the line this is not going to have the same importance 10 years from now as it did last year, right? So I want to hang on to something. I want to grab something. I'm going to grab something here, okay? And, that I'm, and I'm not going to let go, okay? That's worth more than a championship, okay? So... That's what I mean by having your life in perspective. God, wife, whatever. Family, whatever. Okay? And I think once you, once you grasp that, and see, I can take, that, that lasts forever. That lasts forever. My relationship with with God is going to last forever. It doesn't, it's not going to go away today or tomorrow or next year or five years from now. That relationship is forever. Okay? And so when I, when I close my eyes at night to go to sleep, and if I don't wake up in the morning, it's okay. Because I know where I'm going to be. I'm going to be in heaven with my Savior, with Jesus. That's what's most important. That's what's most important. And I know that may be foreign to, to, to many of you, if not all of you, I'm not sure. But having that personal relationship with Jesus Christ, number one, it ensures your salvation. It ensures it. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. And you know he offers that as a gift. That's a gift for you, for me, for all of us. And a gift. Now, if I give you this as a gift, I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> I, I, it's not mine, otherwise I won't. <laughs> but if I give you this, I say, this is a gift for you. What are you going to do? Thank you. <laughs> right. He says, thank you. And he receives that gift, right? Only begin me. Exactly. Well, that's what Jesus did for you, for me, and for all of us. He says He gave His life. He died for you, for me, as a gift for eternal life, to take away our sins so that we could spend eternity with Him in heaven. And He says, 
Jake, do you want that free gift? Absolutely. It's free. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. Okay? I'm going to have... I'm, I don't live a perfect life. Okay? I tried long enough to convince my wife I did. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay? That's a joke. <laughs> but... I don't have to live the perfect life. I'm going to mess up. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. Okay? But that's okay. Because Jesus paid for those mistakes with his life. Okay? He's paid for my mistakes. He's paid for your mistakes. And all we have to do is say, Thank you, Jesus. I accept that free gift of eternal life. And you can know for certain where you're going to spend eternity when you die. And that's more important than any game you're going to win, any championship you're going to win. There's nothing more important than that. Because you guys are a lot smarter than I am, okay? Infinity, forever, and ever, how long, think about that. We leave it, live in a very finite world where there is a beginning and there is an end. We're born and we're going to die. That's for certain. I may die today. You may die today. But we're going to die. But then what happens? Then what happens? It's forever. Well, forever what? Where are you going to be forever? You have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice to accept that free gift or not. Or you can say, no thank you. No thank you. And if you say no, thank you, it's it pretty warm. <laughs> okay? It can be pretty warm, pretty uncomfortable. Okay. So that's what has, I thank God for, for, for my career. I thank God for everything that has happened in my life. Because as I see it now, everything happened for a purpose. God is using me and has used me and baseball okay, to represent Him okay, around the world. I have been basically around the world teaching baseball and sharing Jesus Christ with kids. What a way to go. What a way to go. Come on. I mean, you know, I thought I died and went to heaven. <laughs> this has got to be heaven. You know? And uh, God has been so good to me. He's been so faithful to me, even though I have been so unfaithful to Him. And I guess that's my, that's my message today.